What's up guys, the May Patreon rewards are now available. Cyclonic Rift, Jace the Mind Sculptor, and Avison Angel of Hope are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves or by clicking the link in the description below. What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Today we are testing out some Rakdos aggro. Uh, this is not a Lurus sacrifice aggro deck. This is solely just straight up aggro. Uh, so we're going to see a little bit of a different uh, shell for this one, but it is very, very good. I actually, uh, so one thing that I will say, one, one reason I wanted to test this deck is that uh, prior to Akoria uh, being released, my like go-to laddering deck was just a Rakdos Knights deck. Uh, it was just really, really quick, uh, and that's all that mattered. I mean, it, it could outpace and deal with a lot of the mono red lists, uh, and so a lot of times I would just kind of ladder up with that as quickly as I could, uh, and so I kind of want to see how it goes now. Uh, we've got a few new toolbox pieces that I'm excited about, uh, and so let's kind of jump into what the deck has. So uh, in the one-drop slot, we've got Knight of the Ebon Legion, a very clear, uh, just aggressive one-drop. Uh, comes in, blocks a lot of the 1-1s one that some of the mono red lists like to play, uh, and blocks Fervent Champion. So Fervent Champion is our other one, uh, one drop creature. Uh, it not only buffs a lot of our other creatures because uh, we do have, you know, knight, uh, things like that. We've got a lot of knights, or, or a couple I should say. Uh, this uh, also is very, very easy to target with things like Ember Cleave. Uh, it's just an aggressive 1-drop. It's a really, really good creature to have, obviously, for an aggressive deck. Uh, two Shadow Spear. Now, normally I don't main deck Shadow Spear, uh, or if I do, it's sort of a one of. It's not something I use too often. Uh, but this does give you a way to either trample through for some damage or gain some life back if you find yourself in that uh, kind of racing position. Uh, so this does have quite a lot of uses, I think. Uh, as far as the two drop slot goes, uh, very clear Robber of the Rich. Obviously, a 2 2 Haster for two. Fantastic. It also has Reach. Uh, and we can steal stuff, which is great. Uh, Dreadhorde Butcher guaranteed some damage if it hits the board, which is great. Uh, and ideally, you know, we, we get a couple counters on this. We can maybe shoot a creature or, you know, whatever we need to do. Uh, Planeswalkers as well. Uh, Heartless Act, uh, very, very good new removal spell from Akoria. Uh, destroy creature with no counters on it or remove up to three counters from target creature. Uh, that is just for creature removal. This is not going to hit planeswalkers or anything like that. So worth noting there, uh, in the three drop slot, uh, we do have rotting regisaur. This card is ridiculous. Uh, obviously it's very difficult to deal with in like a, uh, when you're playing like a burn strategy or something like that, you have to use a straight up removal spell to kill it or block it like crazy. Uh, yeah, we have to discard a card every turn. Not really the worst thing in this deck. Uh, a lot of times you run out of cards in this this list anyway, uh, and so your hand is going to be you know pretty sparse by the time you get to this. Uh, Bone Crusher Giant, obviously a shock on a stick, fantastic, uh, and just a really really you know good three drop uh, four three threat. So very solid there. Call of the Death Dweller is another new card from Akoria that we get to try out. This is only a two of. Uh, but essentially, it lets us bring back creature cards with total converted mana cost three or left less from the graveyard to the battlefield, and then put either a death touch counter or a menace counter on them. Uh, and so it's really cool. We can, you know, bring back a Dreadhorde Butcher and a Fervent Champion, or you know, a Robber of the Rich and a Fervent Champion. Kind of any combination of these four uh, that equates to three mana and is only two creatures, obviously. But the value here is really, really good. Uh, and they do go straight to the battlefield. So you do this uh, first main phase, maybe you get these two back, and all of a sudden you're dealing a lot more damage that battle phase than you initially planned to. Uh, we do have three Spawn of Mayhem as kind of our top of the curve creature. It's a flyer. It does it tramples. Uh, it also deals damage every turn regardless, which is really, really nice. Uh, and so this is just a really, really nice threat for us. And then a full four Ember Cleave, uh, obviously a quick way to end the game, so we're going to want to find it. Uh, as far as the lands go, we do have 23. We've got four Blood Crypt, two Castle Lockthwain, so we can draw some cards, uh, and then a 9-8 split on our uh, our Swamps and Mountains. So that's what we're looking at. Uh, the idea, win the game as quickly as possible. So let's see if we can do that. Uh, some exciting news, guys. Some very exciting news. As of today, the recording of this video, uh, we are getting in the proofs for... 
the land cycle that we spoiled up on uh, on Instagram, all of our social media, really. Uh, and I'm excited because I think they're going to be really, really nice. This is a great keep, by the way. Uh, they look beautiful, uh, in my opinion. I'm really excited to see how they turn out uh, in printing. Ooh, rough. Uh, and so I'm, I'm really excited. Uh, I think this is going to be awesome. Uh, hopefully you guys are interested in them. We are uh, planning to uh, have these for sale very, very soon. In fact, we're working on the infrastructure for that right now. Uh, so you should be able to purchase these from our website. Uh, if you're not already uh, checking out our website, we certainly appreciate it if you would. It resolves mtg.com. Uh, we are working on a storefront for that, so that will be there. Uh, so if you're interested, you can pick those up there once we have them available. They are not quite there yet, but they will be very soon. So very, very excited. Uh, let's see. Let's do this. And let's just throw this out there. Not going to attack here. Um, unfortunately, these mutate decks are a little bit difficult for us to punch through damage with. So, do need to find a way to do that. Um, hopefully, we can figure that one out. The good news is, any removal spell is great because they do kind of just mutate on top of themselves a lot. Uh, it's sort of like a Voltron strategy almost, if that makes sense, uh, which, I mean, is good and bad. It's not a bad draw. Um, I think I'm going to pay two here, and I'm going to play out the Regisaur. Uh, this is just something that they're going to have to either outpower or deal with in some way. Uh, next turn, we can drop a Shadow Spear. We can kind of do whatever we need to. Um, the plan is to discard the knight, uh, because we do have Call of the Death Dwellers here, so, uh, we can just kind of bring it back whenever we feel the need. Uh, unfortunately, this deck is a rough matchup for us, though, I will say. Um, Rotting Regisaur really helps us go kind of over the top, but it, it's definitely a bit tricky. So, we'll see what we can do. Ooh, yep. I love this card. This card is sweet. This is potentially like almost an exact list uh, from one that we played recently. Um, and I, I loved that list. It was very, very fun. Yep. Discard the knight here. Let's do this. We're just going to kind of equip this guy up. Uh, let's do that. Um, this is just going to make it so they have to double block if they want to kill it. Um, and if they double block, we're obviously going to kill the, uh, Eluna. And if they don't want to, then they're taking a big hit. And we're gaining a lot. There we go. Uh, let's pass. The good thing about this is they do, I mean, they're a Umori deck, so they are only running creatures, um, which is nice for us because it just means, you know, we know they're not going to have like a, a murderous rider or something silly like that. Um, sure. Whoops. That's fine. Now they can double block with these two. Oh, mean. Uh, yeah. That hurts a little bit. So that does kill the Shadow Sphere. <laughs> At least we got one hit in. Ooh, good card. This deck is sweet. I love, love, love this deck. I could probably swing in with their 6-6 here and be safe. But I guess I understand not wanting to. Um, yep. Uh, hmm. I 
We don't have a great attack here is the problem. I mean, we can attack with this, and that's kind of fine. Um, because we have the call in hand. Ooh, voice crack. Because we have the call in hand, uh, we can kind of get away with this, but don't love it. Kind of glad that they blocked with that, I'll be honest. Um, I mean, this would have been better, but that card is, like, stupid. Yeah. <laughs> and now we don't have to discard this call. We can actually use it to bring back the Regisaur. Ah. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, plus 8. So this literally would kill us. Um... So we have to block one thing and save ourselves one damage. Is that correct? Did I add right? I did. Woo! Dealing that one. All right. All right. Uh, yeah, just gonna go ahead and concede here. <laughs> um, I'll be right back, guys. Give me two seconds. All right, unfortunately we did just get outpowered there. That is, okay, it happens. Let's go ahead and jump into game two and see how we do. Um, I, uh, I don't know, I'm uh, a little skeptical. So here's my thing with this deck. Um, I really, really like it. I mean, just on a personal note, I like it because I, I like um, that it has a little bit more of a tech piece than, than just kind of mono red. Um, and I think that's, you know, exciting enough and, you know, a little bit more, uh, more fun, but, um, and I didn't really, I didn't pre-plan well, but, um, you do run into the issue of like, okay, yes, but, you know, you're, you're gonna run into a lot of just really, really good, um, you know, mutate decks, ramp decks, things like that, that are probably just gonna outpower what we've got. And that's okay. Um, it's still worth a shot to uh, to try and see how things go and see if we can win. It's nice to just test stuff out. Um, <laughs> Either way, they block. We get to kind of do something cool here. Not cool, but this is the worst way they could have blocked. That worked out. Um, next turn. Ooh, fires, huh? Is it fires? Not amazing. Um, they probably will outpower us, though. We do have to be pretty careful. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of Teferi. play spawn be mana efficient uh get the stronger card out as well um it's just more of a must answer now of course they can do yeah some pretty big stuff this does give us a way to punch through damage in the air though which is nice uh against these cavalier decks kenrith too huh that is pretty good. Yep. Well, um, let's see. Hmm. Can we do this is the question. Probably not, because they are... Are they able... Yeah, they can give Trample. Ah, that feels bad. That feels really bad. Um. Yeah, I think we just lose. Well, that's two losses for this one so far. I don't think we could have played things any differently. I actually think we did an okay job uh, against like the initial Bone Crusher Giant threat, uh, considering our hand and everything. So I don't really know what we could have done differently. Um. I guess we could have not played spawn, but like, 
I don't know why we would not have. Uh, we could have bone crushered and you know played out the the Knight of the Ebon Legion just to kind of double block something, but we also you know were subject to whatever they had in their hand. So let's see if we can get a win with this deck. Um, I do hope we get at least one or two wins with this. Ugh. I don't think we can keep this. Uh, we do have the Knight, which is nice, but without red in our hand, I don't think it's worth it. Um, as much as I hate doing this, that's what we have to put back, I think. And depending on what they do, we'll lean on either the the Robber or the Dreadhorde Butcher. But we'll see what they want to do first. Okay. Let's go Robber them. Um, I'm kind of expecting a burn spell here. That's part of why I didn't do this quite yet. Sure. Hmm. If they want to eat a bone crusher, I'm, I'm down for that. They get a 1-1 one, one out of this, but Anax is such a an annoying card to deal with. Oh. Very cool. I think that's right. We could have Rotting Regisword just because it's difficult for them to deal with it, but think this is correct the problem with this though is like if they just have a bone crusher ah lava coil yeah that's pretty good we are not holding up well guys I'll be honest yep oh and they got an annex um I think we're kind of off the ember cleave plan so I'm okay with um doing this here I'm gonna attack in um, mostly because they do have the bone crusher giant in hand so they can just pretty easily kill this so I'd rather uh, get a counter on it while we can they might just have an ember cleave here in which case I mean chances are we just lose oh we just lose anyway all right, well, that was not a very good showing um, from this Rakdos list. Uh, we will give it another few games just to kind of see if we can make it happen, but uh, I think we're we're learning a lot right now is what I'll say. I'll kind of sum up my thoughts at the end of the video too, uh, but I do hope you stick around and watch that one. Uh, appreciate you guys really supporting our channel and supporting what we do right now. It has been phenomenal. Uh, since Akoria dropped on Arena, we've had... I don't know how much more support. I mean, it's exponentially more support than we've had anywhere else. Uh, we've really been pushing the gameplay, so that obviously seems to be helping. Um, but we really do appreciate it. It's nice to have all you guys here. Uh, great for you to uh, enter the giveaway. We certainly hope we can give a bundle away to someone who, who really, really wants it. Uh, it seems like there's a lot of you out there. Uh, so we're excited about that. But um, regardless, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know we didn't do very well, uh, and that's okay. We'll, we'll see if we can get there in video two. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you then.